It's so good when it's warm, when the falafel bowls. What's up guys? So long. It's been so long since my last uh, video. I'm on my balcony in Israel, a town named Modi'in. And for the first two weeks when I got here, I was quarantined in this place, in this apartment. Couldn't leave the place. That is the medical, you know, with the COVID uh, protocol over here. You have to stay two weeks uh, quarantined, not leave the house. And they actually check to see if I'm here and I li didn't leave the house. Today, I'm gonna be uh, traveling nearby to a town nearby named Holon. It's right near Tel Aviv. They have uh, one of the two, the only two Harley uh, dealerships over here. So we'll get to see uh, what a dealership looks like uh, in Israel. And I'm gonna take uh, my small, small car. You see it very soon. It's a, actually, it's my daughter's car that she has over here. I don't know if you know, I told you she's in the military over here. So I'm using her car, really nice and small car. We're gonna drive over there and take a look at the dealership. Typical of uh, streets and roads in uh, Israel, it's they're, they're, uh, the lanes are very narrow because relatively speaking, the cars, the cars that are here uh, are smaller cars. Like a, a typical size car would be a Corolla, a Toyota Corolla. And a Camry already is considered a big car. So you, you, you can imagine the, the cars and the trucks in the States with uh, all the, you know, the Chevys, uh, the Suburbans, all the, all the bigger cars, you don't see them over here. They're, they're way too big, way, way too big. Typical, typical cars here are really small and more economical, you know, in terms of gas consumption and stuff like that. I'm driving right now in, uh, I don't know, I think it's called, it's like a Toyota iGo. It's got a 900 cc, 900 cc engine. That's half half the size of the displacement of my uh, of my Harley. So it's like 50, 54 cubic inches uh, engine over here. And typical uh, like roads over here are really really small, really narrow. Uh, this specific town where. Uh, where I stay when I'm over here is named Modin. Modin is actually a very interesting story. It's a it's a town that was it's a planned uh, settlement, a planned town that was uh, started uh, to be built like 25 25 years ago. And it's a town that's located. I'll put a map right over here. It's located midway, kind of between uh, Tel Aviv area, which is uh, you know by the by the sea, by the ocean by the Mediterranean and between Jerusalem where it's, where it's on the mountains. So this is midway and it's kind of a mountainous area, very good weather, very good climate. And what now we're uh, just before, like end of November and it's really warm outside. I'm just wearing this sweatshirt just in case, but it's like, I don't know, 20, 22 degrees Celsius outside, which is, uh, anyway, uh, this town was planned from the beginning and they did a beautiful, a beautiful job. You know, when you plan something from the beginning, you think of everything. So a lot of open spaces, a lot of garden buildings are very nice. Uh, the buildings are built, uh, planned and built really nicely. A lot of uh, little shopping centers nearby, close small shopping centers, not huge malls. So every every little neighborhood has its own little uh, shopping center that uh, serves that that specific neighborhood. Take a look at uh, at the town itself. A lot of uh, building with uh, rock and stone, which is very uh, typical, you know, for this area because this, this area has got a lot of. It's not desert, but it's rocky area. You see, this is like one of the main road, main uh, roads. As you can see over there, turning right would take us to Jerusalem. Maybe we'll actually get there in one of our videos, go visit Jerusalem. And turning to the left is towards Tel Aviv, you see, right there.
roads are two lanes. The highways are like two lanes. And as you can see, they're narrow com compared to what we're used to in the States. Now the main thing with Israel that I'm sure most of you have no clue. You know how big Israel is? It's the size of New Jersey. It takes, I'll put a picture right over here. It takes about uh, four, four to five hours to drive from the uh, north tip to the most southern part of, uh, of Israel, a town named Eilat. Actually, that's where I grew up as a kid. And from one side, from east to west, it's about an hour and a half uh, ride from one place to the other. So it's very small. It's a very, very small territory. And absolutely, Israel makes a lot of new, a lot of uh, noise. And by all the, you know, the media that and coverage, that you'd think that Israel is huge, but it's not. It's in terms of uh, square footage, it's a small, small, small country. Very small country. That's why part of the uh, Harley culture over here is not a lot about traveling and, and baggers. I don't think you see a lot of baggers over here because they're simply, you cover the whole country in like in one day and you can't cross borders uh, to neighboring countries because it's all enemies around, all Arab surrounding Arab countries where most of them, like all of them actually, have no uh, real, uh, peaceful relationships with Israel so you can cross borders and travel so you're confined to this small territory there's total lane sharing over here actually everybody on motorcycles over here it's pretty much rides wherever he wants they're uh, reckless driving over here motorcycles and cars as well very aggressive driving very inconsiderate I must say I remember when I used to ride here on my motorcycles I was always looking, looking out for where I'm going to be hit by a, by a car. Very, very aggressive, very inconsiderate. So motorcycles pretty much are allowed to sh a lane share, but they go in between the lanes like, like maniacs. Crazy, crazy riding right over here. There it is. Well, let's see where I can park. Made it over here. They have a nice display outside. Let's see. Let's look at their bikes outside. that color look at that orange yellowish inventory of uh, pre-owned used so as I was uh, saying before most of the inventory here is uh, smaller smaller displacement 
they don't have many baggers because, uh, as I said, the uh, riding options in Israel is pretty limited. So mainly soft-tailed, hard-tails, um, small displacements, roadsters, sportsters, but cool stuff, cool stuff, definitely cool stuff. Not too many, not too many items. It's a small store. ride they're pretty busy over here and they only allow people uh, potential buyers to grab a bike a bike and go for a test ride so I'm gonna get some merch and they're having a great sale now one plus one I can buy myself a nice t-shirt saying like from Israel Tel Aviv Israel and the other one I'm gonna buy for my daughter she always wanted me to get her one so I'm gonna surprise her see if uh, this is her extra small women oh my god we're set on a soft tail Milwaukee, Milwaukee 8, Softail 107, Bob. Yeah, we'll put a higher apes on this. Now they're extremely, extremely busy. I'll come over and call them before in, in another day. I'll actually ask to ride uh, the Sportster, the one, the 1200 Sportster uh, that I'm on right now. See if they say okay. I'm at uh, Tel Aviv, or this, this nicest uh, sales guy named Akai. I'm telling him about my channel and everything, holy shift, and he says, no way, no way, wait a second. He shows me, he shows me this shirt. Look at this shirt. Shift happens. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? It's not my size and it's for women, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Thank you. Welcome. Side <laughs> of the store itself because it's so small. They don't have a lot uh, on the floor. A lot of models on the floor. Most of the inventory is outside. That's it. I'm done. Got my merch. We got one plus one. Got my daughter a shirt. Myself a shirt. Nice people over here. Inventory is not uh, not crazy. Not too too many bikes. This is a shirt that I got. I'm sure, none of you have this. Yeah, of course. This part, none of you have. This part, look at this. Harley Davidson, Tel Aviv. Harley Davidson, Tel Aviv, Israel. How cool is that? And of course, I got my daughter her shirt as well. As you noticed, owning, an, owning a Harley in Israel, uh, it's pretty much only for uh, people that make a good living because I don't know if you noticed the main thing about Harley is the price over here the price if you compare the same bike over here to what it costs in the States the States it's half price as you've seen uh, when I was showing you around the bikes over there uh, the bike itself the soft tail the soft tail that you saw over there was pretty much double the price of what that bike would cost in the States and it's not because the dealership over there is trying to take extra money. 
the main thing over here in Israel is there's a 100% tax on all vehicles. So even, even uh, uh, cars, motorcycles cost double new. New, they cost double than what they cost in the States. So my electric glide standard that I, that I bought in the States for around uh, $19,000 over here is close to $40,000, a new one. So only if you're uh, really crazy for it and you have this, the extra coin, you can actually buy yourself a Harley over here. And as you see, most of the bikes here are, are uh, soft tails and smaller displacement uh, bikes. Because baggers here, like you cover the country in five hours. So if you have a bagger, it's just for, you know, for the style, for, for the good feeling, you don't really need it. In the States, you know, the Harley is a very, you know, patriotic. Here, it's not like that. It's like, it's not about being patriotic over here. It's about owning like an American bike with a lot of heritage, a lot of style to it. And uh, it's an exclusive uh, group of people that have these bikes. Somewhat of a uh, arid area, desert, some desert how they build over here, really nice on the mountains. Look how now nice these buildings are, all stone, stone brick. To one of the higher points in this town to show you uh, a little bit the layout of uh, of this town Modi'in right now you're looking that is uh, westbound you go about uh, 20 miles that way you hit Jerusalem as you can see there's a uh, mount mountains start and it gets higher and higher in elevation over there and right here down here are houses of Modi'in this whole area my apartment is somewhere uh, that area, and I can't see exactly where it is, but it's somewhere over there. Um, let me. This is looking southbound, so I just moved to another part because this is in my way. Now we're looking westbound. I can see the houses built on the slopes of these of this mountainous area. I'll put it on a map so you can see. Now we're looking northbound again. And eastbound. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoy this. Hope you really enjoy this uh, small initial taste of uh, Israel. If you guys are interested and want to see more of uh, you know sites and places in Israel, please let me know. I'm actually trying to get, believe it or not, I'm trying to get uh, to rent a motorcycle, rent a Harley. I couldn't find, no, no matter where I uh, search, I just can't find anybody willing to rent his Harley. First of all, they don't have a place that, because the price is so expensive and the insurance is so expensive, nobody's, there's no, no place to actually rent a Harley. I tried Facebook forums to see if anybody's gonna be willing to rent out his Harley, nothing. So if I don't get a Harley, I'm going to try and rent uh, another bike, motorcycle, and hopefully uh, ride to Jerusalem to show you some beautiful sights from Jerusalem and uh, maybe up north as well, uh, Tel Aviv area as well. See, see what I can find. this day without a great great falafel sandwich so hot with fries on the side since covid started they don't allow you they're not allowed to uh, put tables outside by the falafel stand so you can eat so where do i take my falafel my hot falafel you have to have the falafel sandwich when the falafel bowls are still warm and hot hot and warm so i bring it into my car 
work on it in the car. Better have it on your the trunk of your car. Look at this great falafel with tahini sauce on top and a pita, nice and warm. Let's dig into it. Look at this. Salad, Israeli salad, falafel bowls that are made of chickpeas, pita, and fries on the side. Really good. Like my improvised table over here. In the middle of the parking lot. good when it's warm when the falafel bowl just came out of the, the pan the frying pan that's extremely healthy it's all vegetables chickpeas tahini really good that's it guys this time for real it's over stay tuned for more videos oh my god this falafel is great cabbage, uh, pickled cabbage, cucumbers, tomatoes, lemon, squeezed lemon, salt, pepper, falafel balls, pita, tahini. Oh. See you. This time it's real. Bye.